Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Using Acrobat 11, you can create forms which contain drop-down menu boxes and list boxes. Drop-downs allow the user to choose an item from a drop-down menu. They can be configured to allow a user to type a value into the drop-down field. A user can, however, only select one choice from a drop-down field. Typically, drop-downs are used for selecting a single choice from a limited range of choices. For example, selecting one month out of the year. In contrast to drop-down menus, which only display their choices in a drop-down menu when the user clicks them, list boxes constantly display a list of choices from which the user can select a choice on screen. List boxes can also be configured so that users can choose more than one choice within a list box if necessary. To create a drop-down, open a PDF form in Acrobat and enter Form Editing Mode. Choose Drop-down from the Add New Field tool found in the Tasks panel. The pointer changes to a Form Field tool and you can click to place the drop-down field into the form. The field name tag opens and you can type a name for the drop-down field. To add the list of choices that will appear in the drop-down menu, click the All Properties hyperlink in the Add New Field tag to open the Drop-down Properties dialog box. Click the Options tab at the top of the dialog box. This is where you will add the items to the drop-down list. In the Item Text field, type the First List option. If you need to explicitly associate an export value for the choice that is something other than the value entered into the item field, you can enter the associated value into the export value field. When you're ready to add the value to the list, click the Add button to the right. You will then see the item appear in the item list field in the area at the bottom of the tab. Continue this process of adding list values until you have entered all of the items for the drop-down list into the item list area. To delete a list item that you have added, click it to select it within the item list field and then click the Delete button to the right. You can also change the order of the items in the list by clicking a list item within the item list and then clicking the Up and Down buttons to the right to change its order within the list. Finally, click the item within the item list area that you want to have appear as the default choice in the drop-down menu. Whichever item is selected when you close the dialog box will be the default choice for this drop-down. You can alphabetize the list by clicking the Sort Items checkbox. To allow the user to enter custom text into the drop-down field, check the Allow User to Enter Custom Text checkbox. If unchecked, which is the default, then the user must pick an item from the drop-down list provided. You can check the spelling of list item values entered by the user by checking the Check Spelling checkbox. Note that the Allow User to Enter Custom Text checkbox must be checked for the spelling feature to be of any use. To force the selected value to be saved as soon as the user selects it from the drop-down list, check the Commit Selected Value Immediately checkbox. Otherwise, the value will be committed when the user exits the drop-down field during data entry. When you're finished, you can click the Close button in the drop-down Properties dialog box. To add a list box to a form, choose the List box from the Add New Field panel found in the Tasks panel, and then click to place the list box into the PDF. 
Type a name for the list box into the field name tag and then click the All Properties link to open the List Box Properties dialog box. Click the Options tab within this dialog box and add items to the list in the exact same way that you added items to the drop down list for the drop down menu. Now the item that is selected within the item list area when the list box properties dialog box is closed becomes the default selection for that list. Now you also have the same sort items and commit selected value immediately check boxes for the list box the same as you did for a drop down field. For list boxes only however you can allow a user to select more than one choice from the listing of choices that are shown. To allow users to select more than one choice from a list box, check the multiple selection checkbox. When you are finished creating the list box values, click the close button within the list box properties dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.